In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to trim your vectors within Vectric software. So you can see I've got multiple examples on my screen here, one on the top left, one on the bottom right. And the first tool we're going to be taking a look at is under the Edit Objects part of the Design tab. And it's this tool just here called Trim, Trim Selected Objects to Last Selected Objects. Let's open that up. Now right away, you're treated to a description of the tool, which is select the objects you wish to trim. Hold down shift on the keyboard when clicking to add new objects to the selection. The last selected object or object group will be used as the trim boundary. So let's have a look at that in action, shall we? So if I just come over to my vectors here and I left mouse click to select them and then I hold shift on the keyboard, I can now select all of these vectors. And as the form says, we'll select our boundary vector last. So still holding shift, left mouse click, and I'll select my boundary. So we're going to go for this option here to clear outside boundary. Let's have a look at what that looks like. And as it says here, it's cleared all of the vectors around the outside of that boundary. So they are all trimmed away. So let's just control Z or control Z on the keyboard to undo that. This time we'll have a look at clear inside boundary. So again, what I will do is click on clear and you can see that this time the vectors within the boundary itself or the boundary box here have been cleared away. So you can see how powerful it is at managing your vectors. Now, if you recall, I mentioned object groups in the form here. Well, there's an example of this in the bottom right corner here. If I left mouse click onto the pentagon with the circles here, you'll notice that they are grouped together and that's indicated by the solid pink line indicating that this is a grouped set of vectors. Now, what happens when we select our vectors and our grouped object here, and we try to clear away. Well, let's have a look by left mouse clicking and holding shift. Select our boundary last, and this time we'll go for clear outside, and we can click on clear. And you can see that it's cleared away outside of our boundary here because that is respected the group of vectors. Similarly, if I press Control Z to undo that, and then we come to clear inside boundary, You'll notice it's cleared away the inside of the boundary and it recognizes that this is a grouped set of vectors so it's cleared away the inside of that boundary there now if you come to the bottom side of the form here you'll notice that there's a refit curves after clipping option now what this means is if you have this checked in order to uh, clip curves the trim tool will convert the uh, vectors here into curves instead of many small lines so if this option is selected then after the trimming has taken place uh, the vectors will be converted to curves uh, so just an important thing to note there regarding the actual data that you will be dealing with but for now we're going to close out of this form because we're going to take a look at a different example of trimming so let's go to our layers management we're going to turn off the trim objects layer we're going to turn on the box layer and make it the active sheet and then what we're going to do is go back under Edit Objects and go to this tool now, which is an icon of a pair of scissors, which is the Interactive Trim Tool. Now again, you're presented with a description of the tool. It says to trim overlapping vectors, click on the sections of vectors you want to delete. So let's have a look at doing that. I don't want parts of this square in the middle anymore, so let's get rid of that. So if I zoom in, you will notice that my cursor has now turned into a pair of scissors. And you'll notice they're currently closed, but watch what happens when I... Uh, place them over vectors that can be trimmed away. You'll notice the vectors are now highlighted in red to indicate they've been trimmed, but also the scissors open to indicate they can be trimmed. So let's left mouse click and see what happens. You can see it trims away that section of the vector. And you'll notice the next thing it says in the form is alternatively click and drag over the sections you want to delete. So if I left mouse click and drag my mouse pointer, you'll notice that when I hit this vector, it deletes it. And again, and again, and I can also do this across these inner vectors here. So if I left mouse click and drag across, you can see how you can quickly trim away multiple vectors very easily. Now underneath you'll see to delete closed non-overlapping vectors, hold down the shift key when clicking. So that's non-overlapping vectors that are closed. Well, there's a great example on the outside here. We've got a border that is a closed vector and it's not overlapping anything here. And you'll notice that my scissors are not opening. That's because it cannot cut it. But if you do what the form says, which is to hold the shift key on your keyboard, you'll notice the scissors now open. The border now becomes red to indicate it being cut. And we can now cut that away. 
Now, there is an important distinction just under that segment, which says grouped vectors will be highlighted when trimming is attempted to indicate they cannot be trimmed. Well, we've actually got a grouped vector from earlier, so let's have a look at that, shall we? So let's go back to our trimmed objects. We'll turn off our box layer for the moment and go back to trimmed. And pay attention to what happens when I hover my cursor over the vector here for the grouped one, so the pentagon here. You'll notice that the scissors not only are closed, but have a red strike through it to indicate I cannot cut this because it's a grouped vector. And you'll also notice that the uh, vector is highlighted to indicate there's a set of group vectors in a, in a distinctly uh, solid pink line. So nice clear visual indication there from the software. But for now let's go back into our box. We'll turn that to the active layer. And for the final bit of the form there is a rejoin trimmed sections automatically when the form is closed. Now if this is checked, so if this is on, what that means is any sections that you trim away will automatically be joined again. So there's an example of this here. I've got some circles that I want to create into an, a number eight shape. But I've got this overlapping section here where I don't need these vectors. So if I cut these away, again, you'll see them highlighted in red and the scissors open. You'll notice that it's now one large closed vector. In fact, if I close out the form and go to select this, this is now one closed vector because the tool here has rejoined those trim sections to make one solid vector there. And that covers our tutorial on trimming in the software. We hope you found this a useful video. And of course, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.